to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. It's got to be a glorious day for you, James. <laughs> Why? This is that point in the year where as a man, as a man, with, with a real set of brethren on him, a real set of brethren a real, between his legs. real set of danglers. Yeah, between his legs. This, this, is, this was the end of sports mm-hmm. today. So NFL's done. College okay. football has been way done, obviously. Obviously. And that NHL mm-hmm. finished up this week. Uh-huh. And then the Basketball, NBA finished yeah. up last night. So this is your sweet spot here. The next, eh, we'll call it uh, 45 days. Right. And this is, I think, the only reason that we are still together <laughs> is these like moments where I go, oh, and you like come back to life. In a real way, right? Sure, sure. You like want to do things that aren't connected to sports. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And um, you it, get it, a well, little moment of like... It's tough because I, I host a sports show, so I have to watch all of the games. Right. And, But I understand your fr- frustration where you're always just like, hey man, is there another game on tonight? Yes, there is. Just Yeah, just everything being revolved around where it's like if we go to eat... There has to be a TV. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of thing where you'll end up being like, where do you want to go? And I'm like, what? What do you mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, oh, it could be anywhere. And I'm like, are you sure? This sounds crazy. <laughs> and um, so there's this moment where I'm like, oh, OK. And then it goes right back into the real deal. But it is our job and our livelihood. And it's it's fine. At this point, I'm used to it. No. Good. Good. Yeah. 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 I'm used to it. Yeah. I like the dive bars now. I like the, you know, wild wings and places like, you know, And I think whatever. this fall you'll be able to, to come to a few of these, which and is going to be fun. And that will change the game, right? Because yes. I'll be like, you, you know get to go. I love to actually go yeah. have a dog, yep. have some drinks, yes. hang out with people. Then I'm in. You're in. Yeah. Um, You're so in. I think it'll, it'll, it'll definitely change, but yeah. What are we going to, what are we going to do for this 45 days? I mean, what is your life going to be? Well, I got to go out of town tomorrow. <laughs> is it tomorrow? I'm so sorry. I, it is. So I woke up and I was like, man, I, I don't, I, I feel really great today. I don't think I have to do anything. I was planning on going to the beach. Like, I, like I was really, and then I was like, oh my God, I've got two interviews in, in Raleigh tomorrow. Um, not uh, that I'm not stoked because we, it's two of, two of our favorite people. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Cummins, who hosts a, a podcast called Time Suck, which is one of my end all be all faves. I'm surprised it's not yours as well. Cause you like all that murder mystery stuff. And he, he goes over like the most important, uh, murders in history and, and like, fucking crazy people and all that shit i think it took him a second to get things totally locked in but now i think it's like i am surprised that i haven't the, listen, listened where li- i've listened to a couple and you know with everything it's like you listen to the beginning ones but he has it locked man. in now where it's like it is a competitor he, for sure he's really good man. Yeah. that show is so intricate it reminds me of sword and scale because it's um, there's just so much editing so much and research so much, and yeah, editing yeah, yeah. And, and all this stuff that goes into and it that by the way is like he's lights out so I, I talked to him obviously before you know where we go to interview him and uh, he, he he to his credit admitted it he was just like man it is putting these shows out is a beast and I was like I can only imagine because they're about two hours and the last one was on uh, Albert Fish oh my god yeah do you know his story? Yes. So Dan and I were listening to it. My co-host and Dringer Bros were listening to it on the, on the way back uh-huh. uh, from a business meeting. And both of us were just locked in. But it was just. Gray man. So much information. And I was yeah. like, holy cow. Like compare, it, compared to everyone else. I mean, everyone else behind you is a saint compared to that guy. Oh, dude. How it's fucking not, it's weird is that? I mean, 
the descriptions of that guy, like I said, calling him gray man. Yeah. Just this, the way that he looked and smelled and what it was like, that uh, part is the grosser part, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're dumber. You go, ah, get a handle at night was dumber. Yeah. Good looking guy. Normal, you know? Sure. 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 Ab- absolutely. Absolutely. I couldn't handle a or night Bundy. with him, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he wouldn't survive it, but yeah. By the way, he wouldn't ask me to go back to his house. I'm not his type, but um, I think Bundy. you could handle it. You're yeah, a Bundy, Bundy girl. I'm a Bundy gal. Um, BTK, not so much. No. Bundy but there's girl, you're a Bundy couple, girl. Yeah, there's a couple that you go, oh, yeah. I get how it happened. Sure. You know? Sure. So, yeah, if, if, if you're out there and you're looking for... Something like that in that vein, time suck is is the best there is in my opinion, and I, it's it's going to be cool to have him on the show. But I I really want to get into it of like man, what really goes into that? Because it's I mean it's almost like a I f- I feel at least from a writing perspective that it's it, f- it feels like a two hour movie every week, and it's like dude, it really I don't is know how you're doing and, that. Uh, a lot of those murder shows, I think that's why I like it and people are into it is because they do sort of a documentary for your ears, basically yes. is what I call yeah. it. So there's music, there's interviews there. You could, you can see it almost, but what goes into that is crazy. And I'll tell you what goes in, you know, I mean, I know just from fading music in and out for, for interviews or getting levels of all of them, right. Or, yeah finding the right clips and putting them in it takes so long yeah and and you know from the podcast side of of ours like you know especially drinking bros we do a lot of interviews and stuff and it's like it's just the travel is exhausting you know and right. i'm like all right cool i don't know which would be worse <laughs> writing a two-hour show every week or uh. writing a two-hour <laughs> show i think it would be fun if you had the staff to do it like that's why i'm so fascinated he, by those he does now yeah it's like yeah. You know, you're sitting there combing through interviews, right? Or you're sitting there. So it's not sure. so much the travel. And, you know, if you do want to get another piece of the puzzle and interview someone, that's kind of where the travel and the fun comes in. But I don't know. It'd be, it'd be cool. It's making a ear movie. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. And then uh, after that is Christmas Abbott, um, who was great on the show. I wonder if she'll talk, talk about smashing up that dude's car. <laughs> Did you ask her? Not yet. <laughs> we'll get a real reaction this to that. show airs after that interview, so... We'll see how it goes. We usually tape the Monday shows on Friday, so James can have a couple days off. But it's a little uh, uh, Happy Father's Day for you, <laughs> for that guy, huh? <laughs> if she talks about it, she's, she's an all-timer, so we'll see. We'll see, but it, it'll be fun. But yeah, I was really looking forward to going to the beach. I was like, oh, man, sitting well, in the sand, drinking do. Wilmington brewery and uh, uh just enjoying my life but i gotta I gotta go the road she is a calling <laughs> yeah, uh but been last home night's... too long yeah yeah exactly <laughs> it's almost been a month gotta get <laughs> out of here right and then a week yeah and then a week from today i go to san antonio yep yep um yep we're recording uh matt best audiobook uh, thank you for my service, which is available on pre-sale right now. Go get that on, on Amazon. Uh, hardbacks count towards the New York Times bestseller list. And all of those hardbacks count towards the first week. You'll be in it. I will be. I, I will be in it. Uh, Matt, Jared, the boys, everybody, that'll be a blast. So I, I'm looking forward to that, but it, it, what, it's another travel. What did I say to you there? Because Jared just <laughs> dating, married, whatever, yeah. a porn star. I'm like... You won't be staying at Jared's, no, just so no, you no, know. No, no. We're no. gonna put put the kibosh on that once and for all. I hope I hope he comes on so we can get the final answer to whatever's going on there because uh, it's, I love it's all great. of it. He whatever said him it and his is, new I wife love it. We're gonna come on, so whatever it is, I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to hear. <laughs> I really want to know what this bruiser is is all about. <laughs> she seems cool, actually, to be completely honest. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm uh, I'm curious as to what's going on. Uh, I want to quickly recap uh, last night's game because it was, you know, look. Typically, I do this on a sports show. That was insane last night. I mean, look, you have the big three there with the Warriors who lost. Um, congrats to Toronto and all that stuff. But um, for, sure, whatever. But look, it's like beating Thailand, you know? Yeah, at that point. At I mean, that you, point, oh. you had the big three of Steph Curry, two broken fingers. Uh, before the series started, so you had that Kevin Durant, who missed 
what four games, then came in and played game five, then Torrey's Achilles. So, you know, you got one quarter out of Kevin Durant for the series. Right. And then Clay Thompson, who had missed game game four, came back and uh Torrey's ACL last night. So you were down to Steph Curry and the way they were guarding him was called a it's a box and one defense, which I, I haven't seen it since I was a child. Um, I six, sixth grade was the last time I've seen something like that where one, you know, you're down to one player who's great and the rest, you're just kind of whatever. And I, I posted something on Facebook last night that just said, congrats to Toronto. Um, but it's kind of like showing up to the Cincinnati zoo the day after they shot Harambe, you didn't have the best out there, you know, right? You didn't have the best out there. Same. I get so it. It, uh, people, it set off a, a shit storm last night. People were pissed. Sure. Uh, I don't know why people are pissed, though. You know, um, you really didn't have the best players out there, and I would have felt the same way as a fan of of my team if if we'd beaten a depleted whatever team. It You'd just, be happy, but you kind of be like, "Well, we got lucky." Exactly, and, and I don't it, like it's a different kind of happiness where it's just like, "All right," because okay. you want to go against the best, right? Yeah, uh, like, like at least with uh, the Falcons, Patriots. When you know, again, Falcons, my end all be all. That was a full strength Patriots squad. There was no excuses. Full we were, the Falcons were at full strength. Yeah, that was just a fair, fair. Hey man, I'm I'm not happy with the result, but but you can't bitch about any. Can't bitch weird, about any of it. Yeah, we lost. They won. Both teams were at full strength. Um, you got what you got in that one. Right. Uh, I can blame my my coach, but that's about it. Um, sure. So that's the way I felt last night. It was kind of a a downer to end the season on that note because I, I really enjoyed uh, this NBA season and now free agency is going to be just pure chaos because two of the best players in the world who were up for max deals are now not playing all of next year. So the That's Warriors are crazy. out next year. Yeah. Yeah. And when I thought LeBron was done now, he just rises like the undertaker because the Warriors are out of the West. So if he can somehow manage to get some players to come out there, he could be uh, sitting on the throne again, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, Another person died in that Dominican Republic in the DR, by the way. I know, I know we talked about this last week. Um, No, 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 not shot. Another tourist. Respiratory failure. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh Uh-uh. Where different, Uh different property. I'm sure. Right. Can't be the same place. Uh, oh, my God. It was uh, Shark Tank star Barbara. Corcoran? Corcoran, yeah. Died? Her brother. Oh, I was like. Her brother fuck? died. Um, and now is this recent? Is this a recent story or are they kind of adding that to the pile of lawsuit? Man, I don't know. but Because uh, I feel like I've heard this before about her. Um. No kidding. She's saying, though, he had an existing heart condition and that they currently believe um, that he died of natural causes. But uh, but she may be adding it to the pile of like, hey, maybe I, look if I'm, they have I, I, some kind of lawsuit, by the way. And they do. Yeah. OK. So she may be adding her name or they wanted to add her or. He's they're re- kind re- of putting it back out as a story that was dead where yeah. it was like. Because we were at, we were adding, uh, yeah, James. You want to? I was just, I was gonna it's brush a story over that. that was over. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. That was a story that rested in peace. Sure. Uh, that was a story that had closed its eyes. Yeah, you know, I mean, that story was buried six feet deep. Right, but like the explanation also is like they have some kind of leak, you know, because you're in the Dominican, right? So there's some kind of carbon monoxide. I, I don't know. know. Are the, the it just? I'm not going there. What? I'm not going to the Dominican Republic. No, no, me, me neither at no, this point. No need but, for, yeah. for any of this bullshit. But I don't know how much of it is. And a quick update on the David Ortiz thing. Yeah, Big Poppy, yeah. Boston Red Sox hero who got shot there mm-hmm. last week. Red Sox transferred him back, sent a private, private jet down there, brought him back to Boston. They did another surgery, and he's now walking. Okay. I, I, I th- we, was it this show we talked about it on, or was it the other show where he had the mistress? He was banging the drug lord's wife. We talked about it in real life, but we never actually said it. Ah, and so that's, let's, that's where we let's can get, get into a it now. Confused. Yeah, well, we brushed gets, over it. This but gets yeah. wilder. Right. Um, so David Ortiz, Boston Red Sox legend, 
uh, probably a, a Hall of Famer here when he's eligible in the next two or three years, um, is in the Dominican Republic partying in a bar. A guy comes up and tries to assassinate him, mm-hmm. uh, shoots him right in the back, uh, took out part of his intestines, gallbladder, uh, liver. They said he's going to, to be fine and probably make a full recovery, but it seemed That's weird enough. that you would assassinate or put a one of the biggest heroes him, of your yeah. country. Yeah. And why? Yeah. And, and, and why? And then we found out later that he was banging this drug lord's wife and or girlfriend, mm-hmm. and uh, they had put a hit on him mm-hmm. for eight grand. Not a lot of money. Going rate, though. And you know the going rate for is a hit is I five 5000 I would pay 5000 cash. Double that to murder a few people right now. It seems like it should be more, but it's that's. Always in every case that I hear about like the wife hiring or the yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. hiring, it's five grand. Man, man. that's it. I, I would have paid that 10 times over. Right. To kill like 10, 10 or 12 people in my life. Sure. Right now. Sure. That I'm, that now I'm with stuck the five to. grand, you always get caught. I feel like maybe if you pay a little more, you'll get a profesh, right? Yeah, that like man, maybe really. Cri- cryptocurrency is the way to go. Sure. Crypto it. Mm-hmm. Um, but, anyways, uh, so the. The, the, the attorney confirmed it was an assassination attempt, right? David Ortiz's attorney. The okay. copy's attorney said this was definitely an assassination attempt, blah, blah, blah. The mistress thing came out afterwards that he was, because David Ortiz is married. Whoopsies. Um, banging the drug lord's girlfriend. Sure. Uh, that day, the, the new facts keep coming out every day, and it just keeps getting crazier and crazier. That morning. He had bought her an $85,000 Lexus in cash. For the mistress? Correct. Of the drug lord? Correct. And wait, here, here we go. This gets better. At the hospital now, they've got footage of her arguing with the wife in the lobby of the hospital. Yes. Um, so, God. I don't know. There, there's a, How there's exciting a, if that was your life, huh? I know. Gosh, I know. Wouldn't that be great? And she kind of looks like a jankier uh, Kim Kardashian, like you know, the, like a stunt double. They all do. Yeah, where they it's just like a stunt there. double of that, and it's just like, man, is that worth your life? Right. Is, is that, that the one we're gonna go down? That's on? the piece of pussy that's worth your life, huh? Um, which one looks like the drug lords? But yeah, the drug lords. Of, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is arguing with the wife of day de- of. Big Poppy in the hospital. In the hospital, while while Oof. he at, right after he got raced in, and they had to to I mean really rip her out. Security did pick her up, and there's footage of it. Pick her up and pull her out of there, and it it got wild. Ooh, I don't speak gosh. Spanish, but there was a lot of Spanish sure. flying back and forth putas. in that convo. A lot of puta. A lot of abuelos, you know. Grandma. Yeah, a lot of grand Gram- grandparents. Parent grandpa. Yeah, that's grandpa. Yeah. So, whatever. Sure, a lot of I, bibliotecas, I, I, right? Yeah. A lot of discotecas, too. Right. A lot of bicicletas. <laughs> a lot of champagnes. A lot of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> a biblioteca and a lot of bicicletas and a champagne. But every single day this story continues, it is more and more fascinating where oh. I just can't believe it. Jealous. And ESPN has not said a word about it. They're just kind of glossing yeah. over this. and that's of why like, I'm like, even the Today Show, too, they'll kind of say that he was shot. Yeah. Investigation. Leave it at that. They're not getting into. Prayers for a big poppy. Right. And it's like. They're not getting into. Yeah, and they're not we, touching that. Can we talk about him uh, laying the wood to uh, the, drug, the drug lord's girlfriend? Sure. You know? Grand slamming. Yeah. Is that what they call it? Grand slamming. Yeah. yeah. In the biz. That's what they call it. Yep. <laughs> In the biz. But yeah, let's just, uh, you know, uh, rule of thumb, stay away from the Dominican. I mean, at this point, it's just. That's one. That's number one. That's number one. Number two. And number two, gosh, I'm just jealous of that fun, exciting life he has. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Girls are fighting in the lobby of the hospital. And you're getting assassinated, like an assassination attempt. Ugh. You know you've really made it in this world. I'm going to when, Hobby when there's an Lobby. assassination attempt against you, yeah. I'm going to Hobby Lobby later. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, Ugh! Do you want somebody to try, try to pick you off inside Hobby I Lobby? I just want a little excitement, you yeah. know? Maybe an attempt. 
Yeah. Where it like hits the hits the vase next to my head, sure, right? Sure, sure. It hits the 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 live love the laugh live song. love laughs sign and it explodes by me and it's like oh uh, right yeah and surveillance footage of that I want some kind of surveillance footage of okay. me um, involved in something. Uh, you play your cards right. Than, you just got your first piece of hate mail last week, so right. And I feel you know yeah that kind of stuff right yeah. It's like don't don't give the address to the studio, you know. <laughs> that kind of fun stuff would be cool. <laughs> no, I actually don't want to give out the address for the. We're studio, not going so. to, but like that's kind of fun, right? Yeah, that we can't. Ooh. It's currently, by the way. So we're we're in the brand new studio. Subscribe on YouTube. We're making a huge push into video uh, this year. And uh, we've almost got like four thousand subscribers now. So this is it's good. We just it's started. Good and. Um, We've been in a, a debate about whether or not to put signage outside of here. Right. A, it was right now cool, it's an unmarked building. Right. It would be cool. But here's the thing, man. I, when I went to Ben Shapiro's, because let's say no, shit it's pops true. off. It's true. It was, un, it was an unmarked building when, when I had lunch with him a few weeks back. And, uh, and most of them are. I mean, and even recording studios like where they're doing huge bands, it looks very unassuming because of the amount yeah. of equipment that you have inside and just everything that goes along with that so it you notice they're always in these weird strip molly type places where you're like oh this is your huge recording studio where yeah. like michael jackson came or whatever yeah, yeah yeah um for that reason so i get it but i like to pretend it's because someone's out to get me <laughs> you know and that would be fun that would be fun to have who are we gonna put in this picture frame by the way up here because right now it's empty it's empty uh yeah, I don't, I guess it's TBD, you know okay. what I mean? I'm like, it would be fun if we did sort of a cheesy family photo, like you, me, and Dan, uh, maybe, or you and me, yeah. or just have it be, you know, or something. Sure. Or you go to those old-timey photo booths. Oh, I you like that. You get to that. put on the, the, the western wear. The western wear, yeah, yeah and a Motorcycles. sepia. You yeah. get a sepia tone on there. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> a little we're old a, timey. We're on, we're on a, a little motorcycle together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little, I'll play a violin, yeah. right? Um, a fiddle. Yeah, and I will put some hay bales up. Yep. So I don't know. <laughs> TBD. Like it was going to be maybe the Ben Affleck one. I thought that might be funny. Oof, that would have been great. You ruined it or now. Or a canal. But, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking is, is of it. Is he up? Oh, he canal is Canal from yeah. uh, River's Edge. Man, he's canal, everywhere these if, days. I know. If. That would that is the next dream for me because Bourdain, R.I.P. By the way, Bourdain Day is six twenty five, so June twenty fifth. Is that his birthday or the day he died? It's the birthday, but all of the she- so all of the chefs and everyone has named that day Bourdain Day. The first we're doing the first annual. There's a couple restaurants here in town. Really, they're doing a course menu for Bourdain You're Day. Kidding, really? I'm here for it. Um, I believe that uh, the internet is going to be flooded, which you're supposed to do on Bourdain Day, flooded with a memory that you have of him, whether it's knowing him from TV or in real life or whatever. So that's going to be coming at you. Yeah. The 25th, we'll have to do something, obviously. I heard some I'll, kind of extravaganza. We'll, we'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll take you out for Bourdain Day. Oh, thanks. Get a, get a babysitter. Okay. I'm down. Um, wait, wait, when is it? The 25th. Oh, I'm out of town. Ah, oh, Okay. Okay, I'll go get a by myself. <laughs> you know I have no problemo doing that. Um, but yeah, Keanu Reeves is my next big one. Okay. That I would love. And there's something in my heart and in my mind that thinks it's kind of possible because he's so rad. That he, right? would, that he would come on the that show? That he would at least call in if we like messaged him enough or like sent him enough nice things. Huh. Like I think... I really believe he would. And it wouldn't be as scary as Bourdain because he's just kind of cool and chill, right? Bourdain, for me, it's like I wanted him on, but a part of me was like, and you even said it, you're like, could you handle it? And that was nice of you to say. But yeah. um, I don't think I could have. No, I don't think you could have. You know what I mean? It would have been too much. It would have been too much. I, I, I'm trying to think back. In all of my Hollywood travails, I don't think I've, I've met... Or seen Keanu Reeves. Canal, yeah. Uh, I, I, I I saw him once, like just drive. He was he's a big motorcycle. He was, yeah. Um, so I saw him on a New motorcycle, York, think, and uh, he looked cool. And I was just like, ah, shit. That's exactly what yeah. I thought. Um, yeah. Same with Lawrence Fishburne, by the way. 
Uh, I used to see just him all the time because we I lived in the same neighborhood. Too, yeah. And he Toluca was always Lake? on a motorcycle too. Toluca Lake area, North Hollywood area? Yeah, or yeah, somewhere yeah, else. Yeah. yeah, so he played at this, he would pop in to the Money Tree, which was this like dollar, Money Tree, which was this like old jazz club in Toluca Lake. I don't know if you remember it. I know you spent time there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toluca Lake. Yeah. Um, and he would just pop in and like play with them and then hang out and drink because he's fucking cool. Fishburne. Yeah, Fishburne. It, but he was on a he was always on a motorcycle. He was always wearing, too? yeah, Fishburne too. Was he was always wearing leathers, like one of those guys who's wearing like the the chaps too, like the leathers. And he is like, a big right. guy. He's a big dude, yeah. So he is like a yeah. presence. Morpheus is really. It really is. He's a big dude. You do feel like for a second, like oh, uh, like you got there's a glitch in the matrix, and you just got transported. I know when you see him. When you see him, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him in the meat section. That's, uh, and you go, uh, uh, and you like saw a cat go yeah. by and you're like, oh my God. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's the same. And then uh, the uh, black cat goes uh, again. What? what is it? Glitch in the matrix. Glitch in the matrix is all it is. Mm-hmm. Glitch in the matrix. Damn. We, we keep, we always keep chatting. Um, we get some sponsors. We don't hang out other than the show. James. <laughs> uh, we get some sponsors who pay for this whole shit wagon to be on the air. Beep, James. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 boop, that's boop, the boop, that's the sponsor song. It is the sponsor song. First and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. We're combined now. Uh, we're combined on YouTube. We, we've got our own media company. Drinking bros is on YouTube. Combined with Ross Patterson Revolution, we are combining with ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros for an entire year. They're our chief sponsor. And uh, one of the biggest reasons is, look, over 50% of our current listeners are military or first responders. Um, GhostBed has graciously come on board and said, look, we will give all military and first responders 15% off forever on all of our products uh, just for being awesome. And um, that was that was one of the main reasons we decided to go with them. And look, for a, a mattress, which is super important in this life and, and takes up, you know. A lot of my time. A lot of your time. Uh, that's, that's a big deal. So we wanted to partner with somebody we, we trust and we love and that we use and we have for t- two plus years at this point. Yeah. So we're super stoked that they're on board. Uh, if you're a regular civilian like ourselves, uh, $100 off a classic mattress, 200 off the Ghost Lux, and then they got a Ghost Flex. Yeah, I just want to go flex. Gold on my wrist and on my chest. Just a great product. Again, thank you, Ghostbed, for taking care of our neighborhood. We have a couple yep. other families in the neighborhood that have gotten it for kids, twin beds, their bed, and they're just like, dude, price-wise, because mm-hmm. they've obviously shopped around, so price-wise and just the quality of the bed, how amazing it is, fast, like, no, I don't know. There's just no complaint. And thank you for taking care of the neighborhood. Yeah. Ghost bed. So we're, we're, we're expanding. We're, we're in, man. We're going door to door. We love it. Ghost Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. 36 months. No interest. Pay as you go program. No one is doing that out there. Thank you. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Next up, we've got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> Shablankers. Shablanks. Uh, so I was, I was at a party. And uh, neighborhood barbecue. Uh, last was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend. Everybody was drinking Strike Force with the, the with the vodkas. Oh yes, yes, yes. Saying, "Hey, man, where can I get the Strike Force?" And it's like, Isn't dude, crazy. Uh, yeah, it's like it's crazy how big that company is getting. Um, I'm ha- I'm amped about it because I, I fucking love them. Obviously, it uh, feels like a friend that you like you to hang out with that's like starting to get famous. Yeah, and you're, and you're like, like, yo, are you are famous? They? Like, Strike Force Energy? And then you, like, you go out now? and people are, like, recognizing them. And yeah. they're like, oh, shit, I guess you're fucking famous, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. knew you were awesome. That's how it kind of feels. Like, that, we knew feels. them before. Exactly. And so we get to stay friends with them. No carbs, no sugars. Um, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com and get on board. They got uh, four amazing flavors. Orange, uh, original, grape, and lemon. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle, son. Uh, no carbs and sugars, dude. Get it for the summer. Put a little vodka in that drink and uh, get wet. 
get nude. It's strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Last but not least, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right? <laughs> I almost said you like it yeah. for the smooth part. Yep. And blew my... Your wad. My wad. Yeah. I love when gals say stuff like that. Jizzing. Yeah. I it's almost, gross, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that fun? Yeah, I'm gonna nut. Isn't that sexy? I'm gonna I'm nut. Gonna nut. What? Yep, I know. My ball. Uh, suck, on, suck my dick. Yeah. I love when gals say that. When girls say suck my dick. Uh, it's just like, doesn't it get you kind of yeah. excited? N- no, none of it I'm does. I'm gonna go take a hot and long. Especially when... <laughs> suck my dick, right? You guys, did I just become... So attractive. Just one of the guys, right? That's what you want, don't you? You want a good time gal that's just one of the guys. Yeah, I'm in a nut. Well, here you go. I'm, I'm in a nut. A nut. Uh, oh, that gives me a boner. Yeah, a lady boner. A lady boner. Nothing sexier nope. than a lady boner. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. And he came into our lives. <laughs> StraightRazors.com loves, loves these reads more than life itself. We never oh, actually right. talk about the product. <laughs> that's right. We just talk but about. you know, you'll associate with. Associate this. We talk about casual racism and uh, women who talk about nutting on Nuttin people. And yeah, lady boners. Yeah, and if you're a lady out there and who wants to shave their face mm-hmm. like a real dude, pick up a straight razor from straightrazors.com. Father's Day is past now. It's the day after Father's Day. So you're too late. You were guys. probably an awful kid. Yep. So go buy your father a kit. Uh, Say they you're got sorry. Everything: shampoos, beard oils, conditioners. Uh, asshole waxes, everything you name Anything it. Anything you got need it. to be a real man in this life. To be a real man and to be groomed, which is very important. And to From shave top to pregnant bushes. Taint. Yep. Taint. Yep. Top to taint. Mm-hmm. Straightrazors.com promo code revolution. Twenty percent off. It's twenty percent off. Uh we're saying we're saying goodbye today. To a uh, special lady. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Um she is gone. She stepped down from... Uh, Poor K. Uh, <laughs> is that her nickname or... No, that means Y in Spanish. Oh, okay. I thought you were just calling her Porky. I was Porky, like, no. Man, that's a weird... But why, though? It's a weird... Uh, why? So, the rumor is that she's going to run for governor of Arkansas. Uh, Trump gave her, uh, uh, like, 90, like, well-wishing tweets and saying, well, I think she, she should be... She, uh, you know, congratulations, and I hope she runs for governor of Arkansas. She would be the best. Looking at the time period of this right now, mm-hmm. it's June. We're we're in the middle of June. Uh, obviously, she would be on the the twenty twenty ticket for governor if she did it. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes sense if that's what she's going to do. She hasn't ruled it out. So uh, if she does it, I think it'd be great. I, me personally, I'm a big fan of her. I I'd, I'd love to have her on the show many times. But I, yeah. I just think she's very smart, very intelligent, um, well spoken, and she got absolutely fucking hammered by I mean, the, the press. Shit she had to deal celebrities, with celebrities, all of it. Not and only still from, came out and like did it the exact same way and didn't seem affected. Was by a it. professional, it's crazy. yeah. Because I mean, look, you look at you know, and and never got credit for being the first female press secretary. Yeah, right? because they just made because it was for Trump, so girls. Were just against her, her, talking about her looks. So, like celebrity feminists, wise, by the way, yeah, yeah. feminists were going after her for looks and just calling her tr- trash and just and, being awesome. And then with that, but the, the coverage that they showed of her was horrific, man. Oh yeah, um, I talked about Pictures. this in the past, and I'll I'll hammer it home now. If you stack up the networks, if you were at the gym or wherever else, the way they were saturating her on other channels or desaturating her. To make her look awful, mm-hmm. not only on television but in the press, like every photo of her was just—they made her look like this horrific like, monster. Yeah, and, and she's a normal-looking person, and uh, you could see the difference in the way that you know they chose to show her. It was awful, man. Um, huh. So, I, look, g- good honor, congratulations on uh, on doing a great job, and uh, and hopefully becoming the next governor of Arkansas because I, I she's one of the brightest in the biz and, and what she had to put up with was, was fucking insanity yeah insanity I mean because you think about it right 
I, look, we like Trump. Um, I think Trump's doing a pretty, pretty goddamn good job. I'm not a fan of his Twitter activity. Sure. Imagine having to deal with those oh tweets God. every single day and explaining them. And that's why to the press. I think she was the shining star of the admin the uh, so uh, thus far of the administration because that she was just... gathered around. Yeah, her and Mattis. Mattis was one of my favorites. I was really pissed when he left. Um, that was you know on his own accord. I guess, right, but... but I mean, I think she had to deal with the biggest part that people don't like about Trump, even people that like him, right? right? So she had to field all of those Oof. situations, uh, which, again, hats off. I mean, my I Lord. hope she's at in the Bahamas, at Atlantis mm-hmm. for like two weeks. But like the couples part, not yeah. the kids part. Eating the Nobu, secrets. Yeah. taking edibles, getting her hair braided, whatever she wants in this world. Hair braided, can you imagine? Take a break. Yeah, let her take a break. That, Jet that's, skiing? I can't think of a more, a more stressful job on, on the planet. I and that's honestly what I can't. thought. I was just like, dude, how is she still doing this? And after everything, like, again, looks wise and things that they go after with women, like, it's great. I was just like, no. how is she still doing this? It's insane. That is strength right there. Yes. That and, is- and to deal with the job she had to deal with and then the other side of it with people attacking her and her family out in public those oh, restaurants yeah um social media and you know talking about her weight her looks everything else every single day during this just waiting for one little slip up so anytime she would speak it's like they're just waiting for one wrong yep. word one, yep. i mean and she didn't really slip up you know what i mean like she was no she was teflon man and like amazing. you know it was trending yesterday by hashtag by Felicia. Um, the left just fucking sucks at life. It's they like, just dude, suck, dude, all you bitch about is that you, you don't want white men in control and we need more women to do things. Great. Here was a strong woman doing, doing something in the world, but it and wasn't you tore, what you, it wasn't what it wasn't for who you wanted to work. She, yeah. And yeah. you tore her down as well. So get fucked. Um, I thought she did a great job. I, again, I'd love to have her on the show. Yeah. I, I hit up one of Trump's PR people um and said hey so man is, that, is the, there a possibility that we could get sarah sanders the on the show chances, yeah. and, and uh she was like probably after she gets out you yeah know, this is a lot yeah yeah, like, yeah yeah no 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 of course but uh i'd love to sit down with her and just go through all of it if she knew it you know like if she was privy to what the news stations were doing to her and what the media was doing to her mm-hmm. you know they shoot up angles at, at people I Whenever think they fr- must know. I think they must know because they probably do the same to people. So they know. Whenever a photographer bends yeah. down and shoots underneath you, yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Um, whenever you it's see... It's the worst angle. It's going to yeah. add 90 chins to you. Like It is the number no, one... Anytime you're on TV... No, no. And she got hammered, man. You know the things that can uh, help or hurt you. Yeah. When you've been doing it for that long, you you know you know you know your angles, you know your saturation level, you know you know all. Oh that yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of strong women, Amanda Knox <laughs> heading back to Italy. Foxy Knoxy, why? Mm, exactly. Why? Why? There's some criminal justice fest there, which, by the way, that sounds like a dream come true. Sure. In Italy, <laughs> to go to a criminal justice fest. Anyway, she's on some panel, and it's the first time she's been back to Italy. By the way, why are you going? Secondly, Isn't her she dumb dumb over there. Like, don't they want to put her back in no, jail? No, it's all done now. So she's finally got. She got acquitted. Oh, she did. Yeah, so that's all. And they supposedly owe her twenty thousand U.S. Basically, I don't know what it is. Dollars. And, yeah, for Oof. not not giving her a good legal any legal representation, basically, but. Uh, her little dumb dumb fiance said, uh, "We're hoping this trip to Italy turns out a little different." Yeah, you think? Uh, <laughs> they're like poor taste, fiance. Man. puts out a tweet. Yeah, I um, wonder. Gosh, I mean, that was fascinating. Foxy that whole, Noxy. But Foxy Noxy. Did I Still make that Foxy. up or is that? No, you didn't. I didn't. But nice try, yeah. Well, no, I, I'm saying it's a joke because I don't think she's attractive. But Oh, that was the whole thing. They're like photogenic Amanda Knox. Yeah. Which is why the whole, the case got as, as big as it did, I Man, feel. She's going back. I don't, I wouldn't go back to why? this shit. No. Exactly. Like you have way too much faith. Oh, yeah. In, uh. 
the criminal justice system basically at that point if you're going to even step foot back and i mean i would be like fuck no it's like going back no. to a restaurant that you just shit your brains out at you know right? you're just like man i'm yeah they, i've heard they've fixed uh fixed everything back there i've heard they cleaned up the kitchen <laughs> Mm, Not a I'm good. I'm going to go to a different restaurant. There's plenty of other ones. Not a prayer. The, the seafood sandwich at Subway, I've seen numerous friends shit their brains <laughs> out. Uh, to the point where they got to go side saddle on it. Oh, whoopsie on, on daisy. The, on and the then, toilet and, and then, then puke into the tub. Right. Yeah. Right. I've never ordered a, sam- a seafood Sammy from there. Yeah. And, and that's it. smart. And also, I mean, why would you? But anyway. I Sounds just gross. Sounds gross. Yeah, I, I I don't get down on that that type of shit, but I wouldn't I wouldn't I just wouldn't do I wouldn't take the risk. Why take I think the there's risk? There's plenty of other places you can go, right? There's yeah. Plenty of other uh fun fun go countries, to huh? Yeah. yeah. Go to France. Go to fucking Iran at that point. Why not? Rip it up. They're Dude, blowing up do oil it right. tankers. Yeah, yeah, if you're trusting everybody, if you're going stepping back foot into Italy. Take a nice trip to Syria. Yeah. Syria, the, the, that's Nazi, real cheap. See, see how they treat you down there, yeah. girlfriend. Getting ballsy? You getting ballsy, <laughs> Noxy? Stay in the fucking U.S., okay? We don't even know for sure if you didn't do it, I by think, the way. Uh, I think Spirit is now flying to Syria, so if you're you know, looking for a cheap flight. Hop on. Hop on in the middle seat all the way to Syria and give that a gozies. Oof, I would never want to do that in a million years. Foxy Noxy feeling ballsy. Yeah. She's got a lady boner for Ugh, Italy. <laughs> She's going to nut as soon as she gets off the plane. Do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to talk about uh, a story that keeps popping up over and over again. And I don't know. I don't know why or, or where to begin with all of this now. Last, uh, I would say last month or the month before, we talked about that 40,000-year-old horse that was preserved in ice. I mean, yeah, you talked about it. I did, yeah. Because um, you all care this, about that kind of stuff. All of this yeah, yeah, is yeah. bullshit. Right, like right. This, the, the planet and mm-hmm. made up stories about, you know, humans and, and how we, we weren't here when we entered the oh, okay, earth okay, and all okay, that okay. stuff. Like, it's total shit. They found a wolf today. Okay. A perfectly preserved wolf, 40,000 years old. Okay. It looks identical to the wolves that we have today. Like, I mean, it was frozen in like a block of ice or something. Okay. Perfectly. Sure. Perfectly. It, mm-hmm. it was amazing. So the more and more I keep seeing of these fucking animals and dinosaurs and shit that, that, that just magically keep popping up frozen in ice mm-hmm. um, that they're going to take the DNA from clone and then, you know, have them come back to life. I just can't buy into any of these fucking religions or anything else that goes on anymore. Well, I didn't personally need a wolf. I did for me to not buy in yeah. to it, but apparently you needed. I need. I, that. I'm a, I need some hard data. I need something I'm, I can get my hands on. You know, okay. really dig into. So before that, you thought what? I thought there you might believed- be a chance that all of this other shit that was going on was like, eh. All right, maybe maybe there's a chance of this or that. Chance of what? Some kind of religion? Yeah. Okay. And that some some kind of book would be real where it was just like, oh, maybe they uh-huh. told me the truth. Uh huh. They didn't. Yeah. They didn't. Yeah. Um, uh. and this wolf really seeing it, you sure. know, up close and personal this morning. Right. I really really cemented my feelings toward the rest of it. Like it's all just a bunch of made up books and bullshit. Yes, it is, and it always has been. Uh, you know, the only debate is whether it helps people or hurts them, right? So, and I think it helps some and others get crazy group think and I guess. Do, do horrible things in the name of. But, you know, it was never real. No. The um, only real part of it is what it, it did to people. Yeah, <clears throat> I, there was a, a painter. There's a book about this painter. Um, fuck, I want to say it was Michelangelo. Um, I can't even remotely spell that right now. Michelangelo? Yeah. Mickel? Mickel? <laughs> yeah. Angle? Mitchell? Mitchell Angelo. Mickel Angelo. Yeah. Um, just sound it out. Sa- just use my, all my words. Just sound Mickel it out. Mickel Angelo. There it is. Um, about this, this painting, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know if it's him, but uh, there was a painting that's like the world's most like valuable pa- painting, and I guess it's just chilling out on this Saudi prince's yacht. Oh my god, I love that! It's like four hundred million dollars this painting, and it's just it's living on this guy's yacht. Ah, uh, 
to be that ri- what's what's the I guess what's the point at that point, right? To buy something like that or to own it. If it's just sitting on your yacht and only you can see it. Well, I don't know. I don't know the point. I know probably if you have that much money at that point, you're a little bit disconnected from real life and what is what? So you would just be like, "Meh, it's like throwing your your extra sweater." Oh, I was wrong. It was Leonardo da Vinci. Whatever, man. I knew it was a fucking Ninja Turtle. Um, <laughs> so we're fine. It wasn't, yeah. Mike, it wasn't Michelangelo. It was uh, Leonardo. Big deal. Um, uh, either way. So it, it's, it, it's a $450 million. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb, dude. $450 million painting. And it's, it's been hiding on this Saudi prince's super yacht. Sure. Um, it's... They, they, so they just wrote a book about this thing of, of where this painting has traveled to like okay. over the years and it's coming out and uh, I, I mean it, it broke records. So it's 2017. It was the most expensive um, thing to ever be sold at an auction and uh, it's another Saudi prince, Bader bin Abdul bin Mohammed <laughs> bin Faran al Sahad. Uh, bin bin. Um, there's a lot of that's th- that's three bins in your name. That's mm, a lot of bins. Yeah. Bin 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 bin. 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 There's um, always a Farouk. I feel uh, a Mohammed. Mm-hmm. Mohammed. Whenever I say the the word Mohammed, I've got to pronounce it like that. Right. Uh, a lot of bins and a lot of Abdullahs. You know, mm-hmm. in there. What the fuck ever. Sure. Um, my question is this: Why buy this? Thing, if mm-hmm. it's just going to sit on your yacht and you're, only, you're the only person that can see it. One, two, is there one thing in this world that you want all to yourself and you would never want to share it with anybody else? Something like that, like art anything, wise? Anything, anything in this world. A studio apartment? <laughs> a nice studio? Uh, <laughs> over like a, <laughs> over a storefront in Paris? No. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think about this where I was just like, dude, what's the fucking, what's the point? Because when we buy shit, right? Um, Take, take the, the signed OJ Simpson Jersey or, or, uh, you know, the dude, the drinking brother sent us the the signed Buzz Aldrin. You want to show it to people. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that I would want to like keep just hidden in the closet. Right? No. No, I don't know. So there's not one, there's not one thing for you, huh? There's not one thing that I would want to keep hidden just for yourself. No. Yeah. No. I was thinking about it too. That's I, I, crazy. There isn't, right? No. So why the fuck would you spend $450 million on a painting, the most famous painting in the world that you're the only one that can see it? Well, that is I'd some baller the, ass the, shit, though. I mean, is, that's some baller ass shit. Where but you're I just like, yeah, whatever. This I'm just gonna throw it on my yacht. I think that is the answer. You don't think of things in the same way than it, when you have that much money, right? Things I, don't have the same kind of value. Well, you take so you take the Wu Tang Clan album, for example, right. right? That that sold at that auction for two million dollars, and it went to Shakrelli. That that f- fuck bag who's who's in prison, Martin Shkreli Sh- Sh- or sure. whatever his name is, right? Mm-hmm. He buys it. They, they you know they only make one. They only make one copy of it, right? He's the so only one stupid. that can listen to it and hear it. Yeah. It took him two months before he was on you know Instagram Live, oh, yeah. playing clips of it because it's not fun if you're the only person no. that has something and no one else can share in it. Um, and I'm curious as to why this guy is. Again, that's the only thing that I can Man. say is that, you know, to him, that's what? That's like buying a Razor phone or whatever. I guess, man. You um, just throw it in the yacht. It's just, but just that's, an extra one. That's the thing about art, right? Mm-hmm. You know, usually you put it on display or it's in a museum and you want a bunch of people to see this thing. Um, it's just, so, it's, it's bullshit to me. Like, I'm looking at this painting now. It's all right. Kind of looks like Jesus, you know, like this kind of chucking up a deuce yeah. sign. And you're just like, all right, sweet, man. Like if I, if I breeze by that, I would have to have somebody tap me on the shoulder and be like, oh, hey, that was the Ninja Turtle who painted that. Oh, most of the time. I mean, even the Mona Lisa. It's bullshit. It's not that great. No, it's all right, right? It's okay. Yeah. Uh, I just <laughs> don't really give a fuck. 
don't really give a shit about you know, like art. If you see it, you're just kind of like, meh. Eh. You're like, that's sweet. It's looks like, seen, yeah. Kind of looks like the like the weird girl in the neighborhood who, who lives in the Boo Radley house. You know, that's that's what I think of when I see the Mona Lisa. Where mm-hmm. It's just like, eh, all right, cool. So Not- if you if you did get your dream trip to Paris, then sure, would you want to go to the Louvre? Nope. No. <laughs> uh-uh. You know, I don't like museums or care about anything like that. So no. So that would be. I would, and if I did go, it would be to feel like I should. Yeah. But I would not have a good time. Really? No, I'd be bored as shit. So that'd be a hard pass on the Louvre. Again, I'd go if you were like, dude, you have to. I mean, you'd be a little dumb dumb if you don't go to. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go and then say, no, I passed on the Louvre. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. To just literally eat baguettes and drink wine and maybe smoke a cig yeah i you know think that's I really mean? all you want out of paris oh that is all i want <laughs> and i just want to walk around and like pop into different weird places that is just like normal we'll get a grab a coffee yeah. grab a baguette yep. get wine at any time of the day have it be cool Smoke a cig around kids. Nobody cares there. Yeah, nobody gives a shit. You know, that's you put, what I want. You put the cigarette out on a kid there and nobody and cares. And that's kind of what I want to do. Gotcha. Um, and the Louvre is like, that would be one of the days where I'm like, okay, I'll go. You know what, what, I mean? what about Eiffel Tower? You want to climb that bitch? I would go up in there, but I would not take a picture out in front. What? No. Come on. Gay. Uh-uh. <laughs> Gay. Uh, I think it'd be it. cooler to not. Do you know what I mean? I just... You know I wouldn't even want to take any pictures there. Except for of like you and me to like save. I don't love memorexing my Your experience. Life. I like to just have it. Yeah, and yeah, I know yeah. that's stupid <laughs> and hippie and dumb. Uh, but it's just like I don't got time for it. So I wouldn't do that. And I wouldn't go to the Louvre. Oh, that's great. Man. I just like, I kind of want the day to take me where it was going to, right? Like just pop into different places, go to weird days bars. Uh. Yeah. Days yeah. uh yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna go for one day. Now that's some baller ass shit. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, cause the the Notre the Notre Dame burned down. Not that you would have given a shit about seeing that either. So Nope. Yep. <laughs> I would have walked past it. <laughs> if it was somewhere close to another restaurant that I wanted to go to. <laughs> if it was on the way. Yeah, but I'm not going out of my way to uh Look at stuff like that. I've d- I've done all that. Yeah, I've done it. I've done the tours and all the you know Mexican ruins and uh, you know what did it look like? Like a ruin. Yeah, it was ruined. Yeah, it was ruined. It was ruined. It was all. Like, yeah. what is this? What am I fucking looking at? It's yeah. all ruined. Some old shit. Yeah, this is. Fuck- I'm like, I'm take at, me to I'm a nice. Looking at somebody else's country's n- junkyard. Yep. Wanted you to take me to a nice place, and here I am in fucking rubble. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nice. And I went to a a, mer- a a natural history museum or whatever there. Bored. Um. Boo. Boo. Bored. Um. Sp- speaking of Paris, by the way, we we uh, we watched Press Your Luck the other night, and that I've never rooted for a gay man to. Go to Paris and and win a, a mini or a, a Jeep Cherokee harder than I have. Right, you loved that it, guy. Yeah, because he went in the whole thing about Paris, about what it meant to him and everything <laughs> else. And like all I, <laughs> you and I were dying laughing because I was like, oh, you have the same dream, and that's yep. all that is. When Homeboy said that him and his husband got engaged in Paris, the Paris in Vegas, and not <laughs> not not the one in France. <laughs> I about pissed all over the bed. <laughs> Shout out to Ghost Bed for that cover because it's waterproof. Because we almost pissed on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, almost pissed all over my bed. I died laughing. And uh, first <laughs> and of all, it means so much to him. But I listen, know. like if that's the closest you can get, do it. It was a wild. Not so everyone I, is fucking loaded and can travel all over the place. First of all, when I was a very small child, um, Press Your Luck would come on and, and I loved it. It was, one, it was probably my favorite game show, right, as a, as a child. Because uh, they had the whammies and, and all that stuff. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, yeah. Yeah, so they're bringing all these old game shows back for the summer with celebrities hosting them. Elizabeth Banks is the host of Press Your Luck now. And, man, I'm going to be honest. Like, the, the husband was crying uh, at everything because they, they kind of interview, interview – interview 
There right, it is. Right, there you go. Oof, boy. Welcome. Have I tried CBD? You bet. I just did um, right before the show. When they're, they, they, they do the pre-interviews, they ask you about your life and things you want and places you've never been and all that stuff. And then they incorporate them into the yeah. final game so, you, so maybe you can win one of those and press your luck, right? And you keep going and try not to get whammies. Ah, oh, boy. I, it, it was really hard for me to watch. And, and I'll tell you why. First of all, this, this, this gay couple had a, a child, right? Mm-hmm. So one of the, the items was like all of this baby stuff. And it was like four years worth of baby stuff. Endless diapers, oh, clothes, Sign cribs, whatever up. the baby needed for four years like that. And, and they Jesus. won that. Yeah, they won that, right? Nice. And so, you know, they win it. The, the gay husband's sitting off to the side. He starts crying or whatever. Sure. And... Uh, they were like, look, um, you know, we're going to the next round. Are you fine with $23,000 worth of stuff? And then all of this baby stuff for your baby for four years. Like, are you good? Or do you want to press your luck? And he was just like, he looks over husband's crying and he goes, you know, um, I came here to win big. So I think I'm going <laughs> to press my luck. And I'm like, dude. You, you just said you don't have a lot of money. Right. And you just have a kid. Like. You're going to press your luck. So do you lose the baby stuff then? Yeah, if you lo- oh, if you get God. a whammy, you lose the baby so stuff, happened? right? What do you think happened? You lost the baby stuff, right? And everything and Wait. no trip. So they go, you have one more spin. Oh, God. Would you like to? And he's like, well, I have nothing now. I've got to press my luck. Blah, blah, blah. Next spin, he gets like five grand or whatever it is, right? And they were like, great. Do you want to go home with that five grand? Or do you want to go to the next round where you can win this, right? Whatever it was. And... uh Dude, he just kept beefing it over and over and no, over again. No. Uh, he gets down to, and they've one of the things was this Jeep Cherokee, right? That the 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 husband had to sell because they were poor and trying to pay for the okay, kid. Okay, so he or whatever. incorporated that from the story into the winning. Yeah, and he just, you know, they they had the Paris was they had won the trip to Paris at one point. And they just kept pressing their luck, and I'm like, dude, everything you've talked about in your entire life. That you've wanted to do and money and things that you need and baby and all that stuff. Like you're just so greedy. You just keep giving it back over and over and over. And the guy just keeps losing, right? He's down to one spin left. Boom. Wins the, the, the Jeep Cherokee tears like okay. Elizabeth Banks at this point is just like, you can tell she's having a hard time with it where she's yeah, like, she's like buddy brother buddy just take this shit and take care of your family. Right, right, right. And yeah, so uh, the long story long, he won the Jeep Cherokee okay. and the place went bug fuck, obviously, including myself. Sure. I just wanted to see You're like, it. thank God, just go, just They're leave. They're crying or whatever. And sure. then it, it, it comes back to, would you like to do Mm-mm. this one more time? And, and even though the partner now is getting greedy where he's just like, well, he is the luckiest person I know. So yeah, I oh, mean, clearly. I'd be fine with him keep, to keep going. And I'm like, what? Take your Jeep Cherokee and get out of there, bro. Get out of there. Um, right. Luckily, cooler heads prevailed. And the, the other husband, was, who was actually doing the, the game, was just like, you know, it's your dream car, bro. I think we're going to pack it up at nice. this point. Jesus. And, uh, at least they got out of there with that. But uh, if you want to... If you want to watch a little greed in your life and mm-hmm. figure out where it's at. If you want to get revealed man, as, a, as a greedy person. I don't know why celebrities are doing these game shows. It's, it's, it's a thing all summer. And it started with... Uh, Alec What's her nuts from uh, Glee? Yeah, and Alec Baldwin did it afterwards. Um, uh, I can't remember her name from Glee. Blonde woman. She was in all the uh, Christopher Guest movies. Uh, Jane Lynch. There it is. Uh, so it started with her. She was she was hosting some of these game shows, and then Alec Baldwin. Yeah, I was surprised to see Elizabeth Banks hosting though. Why though? What's she up to? She's she just finished. Uh, she's wrapped up all that the the series for the Hunger Games and all that stuff. She's like a high powered director now. Like I think she directed that shit too. Oh, well, but she likes to work. I guess, man. But uh, you know, there's some people who just don't like a lot of time with their family. No, you know, Same they thing like with, to with keep Jamie on Fox hosting the Shazam the show. I was just like, huh? Yeah, true. Well, they shoot in L.A. So. She's fine. Like it's you know. a couple of days of work. Like why not? Why wouldn't you do it? I don't know. I guess it just, it just seemed weird to me. Okay, it seems weird, but everybody's everybody's doing it now. I guess so. It must be fine. I bet it's easy money to be honest, and yeah. it like I don't know introduces you to a different 
audience maybe? demographic uh, maybe <laughs> 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 was there a game show that you wanted to go on like press your luck was my jam i really wanted to do that um, we, watched, we, watched, we watched uh that that price is right doc the other night yeah that one i never was really into that one i like I never watching got, it but like that wasn't my dream to i never go got on into that. where i was just like all right cool press your luck would be rad though what's the million dollar one with who wants to be a millionaire who wants to be a millionaire you couldn't answer any of those questions though why ah james why are you saying that you're really really slow you're, really, you're really. such a fucking <laughs> asshole I'm totally because joking. you were serious when you first that was your <laughs> gut visceral reaction to it <laughs> same like with Bourdain I wanted Bourdain on you couldn't you couldn't handle that I don't think you could handle him he'd he'd step all over you you said no, he and that's your first like that is your real reaction and then you go I'm joking I'm, I'm sorry I'm totally joking. I think you'd be too nervous with Bourdain um who wants to be a millionaire has got some harder questions in this world that's a tough one it's a tough game show look i'm going with with on the rocks <laughs> i'm going with with uh with press your luck and Je- jeopardy like a celebrity jeopardy i don't want to go go up against homeboy people don't like you enough to put you on a on what on a game show probably not right? yeah yeah you're just not likable enough but <laughs> i'm just joking i'm just kidding <laughs> i would be on jeopardy Cold, calculated, everything else. Press your luck, you're right. I'm not likable enough for press your luck. Mm -hmm. You have to really give a lot of energy when you lose of like... And you have to have a sympathetic story. Yeah. People would be like, we're good. Like this this woman, the the woman that the gay guy beats, she lost, she was ahead the entire match. She had a Jaguar and lost it all. They, They, this evil woman passed her her spin. She got a whammy on the next thing and like she had to fake that she was like, oh, I'm going to try to get it all back here on this last spin. It's like, I would have been so, you're right. I would have been so pissed off. Mm-hmm. Like, I would have turned to the woman next to me and be like, really? You just shit on me for three grand? Yep. It's stuff like Took that. Took away my Jaguar for three grand? Yeah, it's stuff like that that people don't really, uh, it doesn't really resonate <laughs> with uh, a broad audience. But yeah, no. I was surprised um, at the cost of the Jaguar, by the way. What is it? 39K. What kind of jet? I mean, yeah. really? I was surprised when they when they popped that out. Maybe they've made a, a different model, but uh, yeah. Cool. So uh, it's time to get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. This one's going out to Betsy Ross. It's flag day today. Okay. She sewed the American flag. Okay. She's also my sixth great aunt. Sixth sure. or seventh. No, that's real. Oh, we know. That's real, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Congratulations, Bets. What's that look for? I was at her house, too. I went to the house. You know that, right? Yep. Um, D'Anthony and I went to uh, the Betsy Ross house. Did in, you? In Philadelphia, yeah. It was right across the street from our hotel. Oh, my God. So. That outing, you guys, I would have been so bored. Oh, it was great. It's a very small house. Yeah. A lot smaller than I thought. I like, oh, she cool. didn't have a lot of space to work in. It was more impressive that she... Had so the flag, flag that yeah. big when it, when it looked like the size of her entire bedroom. Mm-hmm. So nice. Uh, proud of you, Bets B Ross. <laughs> um, so happy Flag Day out there, everybody! I know everybody's celebrating, partying hard. Uh, a lot of Flag Day specials, uh, drinks, a lot of Flag Day food. You you love Flag Day. You're a big Flag Day person. Um, I'm more of a Columbus Day gal, but yeah, uh, it's Indigenous People's Day, but uh, sure. 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 Uh, so happy Flag Day out there to everybody who's listening or watching on YouTube. Subscribe for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables. I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.